sleep is critical for children's physical and mental health, but many kids they are just not getting enough. And a newly identified sleep disorder could be to blame in some cases. Nancy Chen tells us what parents should look out for. Nine-year-old Emily Cavanis has always had a hard time getting a good night's sleep, according to her parents. She'd be sideways in the bed, upside down in the bed, all over the bed. She just always was restless when she was sleeping. A sleep study did not uncover any sleep disorders, but they all knew something wasn't right. Once I fell off my bed and I didn't know until I woke up. She was more cranky. She couldn't focus. It, oh, she was so tired. Yep. Now the sleep problem Emily suffers from finally has a name. Restless sleep disorder. An international panel of sleep experts just added RSD as a new pediatric sleep disorder. They are tossing and turning. They are repositioning all night, daytime sleepiness, hyperactivity, some behavioral problems um, could be the first um, signs that the parents see. Pediatric sleep specialist Dr. Lourdes Del Rosso from Seattle Children's Hospital led the panel. She's also leading research on how to treat RSD. Previous studies show a link between low iron levels in the brain and movement disorders in sleep. We found out that indeed iron levels were low in this population. So for the last year and a half, we have been working on both oral iron supplementation and intravenous iron supplementation. And we have seen amazing results. A lot of parents have been really happy with the sleep of their children and the quality of life. Emily was part of the research. She received an infusion of iron and took extra iron daily. We noticed drastic differences in her sleep and her behavior afterwards. Um, she noticed too. Her iron levels are now steady and her parents say she's well rested. Nancy Chen, CBS News. Seattle Children's researchers did a study on their sleep center and estimate nearly 8% of their pediatric patients suffer from restless sleep disorder.